welcome to the Zohra Machodri Cricket Stadium on a nice sunny and breezy day here. All set for a good day's uh, day of cricket, piling on the runs in the first innings. 102 for 6, the way some of the batsmen got out was quite... Uh, this is an interesting days of play. Day 4 here in the Dutch Bangla Bank series. The umpire is coming out. We're uh, done for the moment here. Thank you. For Two in the first. Seamers, Khaled Ahmed and Hassan Mahmoud combining for the six. They've taken off Sri Lanka as uh, Prabhat Jayasurya and uh, Angelo Matthews make their way. Ask Bangladesh to come and have a bat. Reality, it's always about little battles to be won. They have given them back that feel-good factor. Bangladesh would be happy if you look at it in isolation. Worked harder, dug deeper since you decided to bat again. However, the question is, can Bangladesh save this test match? Can they save this test series? Khaled Amit to Angelo Matthews and uh, starts off in the right channel. Just a tad bit short, pulled away. When uh, Huck, deep square leg covers. Just the three fast bowlers to follow for Sri Lanka. Pull. Flicked. Two is the call. They're coming back for two. Throw in. Mm, not one of the best. Three runs of this one. I think the drop and runs, everything will be crucial. Jai Surya can do the same too. Oh, in the air. Hurried him, surprised Angelo Matthews. Perhaps was quicker. The turn, the bounce, that did spit at Matthews. In towards him, pitches, extra bounce. Pull, played inside out, finds the gap and should get the first boundary of this morning to a very good stroke. That ends the over, spoils the Shakib over. 1-1-4 one, one, for 6. Last ball, he suddenly thought he'll toss one up. Did Shakib and that was a freebie. Matthews, now two runs short of a 50. Jeez, his eyes lit up. Gets to his 50, Angelo Matthews. Played very well and this has been very, very important, useful. Uh, spinners on the fourth day, understandably, in a subcontinent pitch, getting purchase. Brilliant test pitch, as far as I'm concerned. And I believe that it's the 500 mark, swept it away nicely, really good shot, and swept it away to the boundary. The conventional sweep. And uh, picks up the gap. Lovely shot uh, from uh, Matthews. A good shot all around the ground against the turn. Understand the square leg in the uh, 30 yard circle or so. Part of it has so gone back to Sri Lanka for a family emergency. That's a good shot by Prabhat Jai Surya. Couldn't get the timing right, but I like the intent. Try to take on Shaki Balasan with Midoff, trying to save the boundary. And for Dinesh Chandimal, we wish him well, whatever the family, family medical emergency is. Yeah, I hope everything is fine and uh, best wishes for him and his family. Yeah, even there is turn, he's not afraid uh, to. I'm... Oh, beauty! Lovely delivery. Turn square and goes through. What a delivery to send back Angelo Matthews. It's a peach of a delivery from Shaki Balasan. Well, top notch by Shaki Balasan. It had drift, turn, and Angelo Matthews played down the line of middle stump, pitching leg stump and hitting off any left arm spinner's dream delivery against a right hand. Shaki Balasan shows his class, and Angelo Matthews clean bowled for 56. Not doing anything special. There you go. Once was expected, and this time he latches on to it. And he picks up a boundary. Wish for Fernando. The 
correction, Prabhat Jasuria. Good shot, Prabhat. That's more like it. Move your front foot away, swing through the line. The first ball, it came down the track, came too close to the delivery. Second, Taijul Islam, slightly shorter, played on the back foot, and third delivery, it was coming. Lanka. The one day series was lost, it's a huge appeal, maybe sliding down the leg side. Which Bangladesh having two reviews out. I, I don't mind them going upstairs. Looks a little closer. Uh, is, is it time? Oh, no. Just in time. Richard, then what? Happy about it. I've checked both feet there for Let's go to front time when available. Running through. Uh, appears to be no back. We've got old trees just to confirm that. Looks like a gap. Uh, pitching in line, impacts in line, wickets missing. We'll get you back on screen and you can stay with your original decision of not out. You're on screen, on. signal. From Richard Lingwood. Oh, he's going, going down the left side most likely because he's also down the wicket. The problem that uh, Bangladesh has is that the, nobody has scored 100 yet in this test series. It's been consistent and now he goes on. Yep, that's the right way to go about it. He'll pick up another boundary to finish the over. 142 for seven. Come out and bowl again and pick up 10 wickets. The last ball of the previous over, Vishwa Fernando. Brilliant, straight down the ground. Opening up his arms and slapping straight over the top of Shakil Azan's head. It's much more like it. Vishwa. You know, just moves away, backs away and puts it away for a boundary, uh, looking to play a few shots. With that boundary, the lead now, 499. Pressing the accelerator now, Sri Lanka. The fast bowlers in the attack, Prabhat Jayasuriya, chancing his arms, giving himself room. Possibly want to go over extra cover. And Hassan Mahmoud following him, getting a thick, side, thick outside. You know, when you have a uh, few more in the slip score, and easy, easy, because there are a lot of gaps at the goal. So he had a go there, the batter, <laughs> right across the line, the ball keeping a tad short, crept enough to take it away, not the arm ball. If mid-wicket goes out, no, I don't mind this, because it's only going to be a matter of time if he's going to prod. Spinners are starting to get, not very confident with that one. Involuntary shot gets four runs. Beat everyone. So when a couple of balls turn, just gone through everyone because they're all expecting that ball to turn. Runs, runs, runs. That's all Sri Lanka will care about. Tries to get underneath. That one gets a single. To finish over number 40, 157 for seven. Still there? Oh, he's forgotten that it's the end of the year. Was finally he remembers. <laughs> yep, there we go. The lead 510. They opted for the heavy one. Yeah, this is massive. 510, the target. Those are the partnerships. One between Radishka and Matthews to really allow Sri Lanka to go to an unassailable, virtually coupled to Khalid Ahmed and that lone wicket this morning to Shakib Al Hassan. The declaration has come. The target has been set for Bangladesh. Need 511 runs for a win. Match 531 posted despite no centuries. I had no doubt in my mind, Shamim, that um, you will take a liking to them. They had just the one role. I'm going back 30 years, maybe, maybe even more. Bangladesh need to really batten down, show a lot of resilience, temperament, the call of the day. The most they've batted is 68 overs. That was, they'll want to make a, a count of themselves. In, in, in other words, try and be inconsistent in these innings. It's consistent would mean Shamim 178, 180, 188.
It's going to be a tough ask. 511 to win. Alahiru Kumara and Asita Fernando would really like to use. Can uh, accentuate the turn and that bit of extra surprise bounce. So I'm a little confused. Zakir Hassan was very good for that 54 until he got a careful approach. Ball on its merit. Right behind that nicely. That'll ease some nerves. First ball, always nice to have it on the bat. Even better if you can get uh, off the mark as quickly as possible. On the shorter side, Bishop Fernando, the ability to move the ball both ways. Ahmed Lassan Joy just opens the face, uses the pace of the ball. Very nicely played away. Good work. As you said, making the fielders work hard early on. Even little periods of play in this hot sun will drain them. And that's one way in just making sure that... Uh, again, drifting down leg, again, tucking it nicely and comfortably around the corner. Against their names. And it's about the partnership, lovely. Just leans into it. Just a bit wide. Will be cut off. Good looking shot from Mahmoudullah Sanjoy. Loss here. Shot. This time with to the left hander. It's a nice little punch. Up. And he'll pick up. Good looking stroke, good looking stroke will bring up the first boundary in this Bangladesh innings from the bat of Mahmoud Hassan Joy. Ends the over, expensive one, 10 runs off it, 19 without loss. Was, uh, from uh, Mahmoud Hassan Joy. Now right to the pitch of the delivery, holds his pose, lovely cover drive, copybook style. And nicely leaning forward, then holding the pose. Good looking stroke this time from Zakir Hassan. In front of square, will come back for a couple. Oh, lucky on that occasion. Finds the gap between the slips and the gully. And finds the boundary. Four runs of the last delivery. 25 for no loss. This is the last ball of the last over. He was in all sorts of trouble, Zakir Hassan. He's a little bit too late to play that uh, pull shot. Um, and that's where you need to decide as a batter. Can you be a little bit more defensive? Was that, was that needed? Oh, kept low. Now, was that an opportunity? I think the bowler believes it was. Goshal Mendes, the look says, has just spilled it. Yes, definitely a neck. And it has not been caught. It's the, the turn. Just on that occasion, a short one, and he's picked that out nicely. Again, it's Mahmoudul Joy who picks up his th third boundary. The right delivery was just a tad bit short. He played it laid deep inside the crease. Yeah, good connection. And what it does is manipulates the field. Very well played by Mahmoud Hassan. Watchful on this occasion. Four runs of this over. 31 without loss and uh, umpire Rod Tucker. Moves the bales, confirms that it is time for lunch here in Chattogram. Between Mahmoud Hassan Joy and Zakir Hassan, two boundaries for Joy, one for Zakir Hassan. Yeah, they've uh, scored runs uh, in a good, at a good rate as well, uh, nearly uh, four runs and over. It's 3.88 in this lot of hard work to be done uh, after lunch at lunch, uh, Bangladesh. 31 without loss. Two overs for him only, no wicket so far for any of them. But he survived. Yeah, this is how it looks like. They have an uphill task up ahead, Bangladesh. 
in the second test match of the Dutch Bangla Bank series. It's time for a short break as we go for lunch. We'll be back. To start play in the post-lunch session in this Dutch Bangla Bank uh, second test match. Negotiated it really well. Just one chance, a sharp chance. He's on it straight away. That's a good thing about Dananjay De Silva. But when you see what he does out on the field, pretty proactive. Just won't let the game drift, which is... And that intensity is uh, going to be needed, despite the fact that Bangladesh, another... is drifting down leg again. We've seen him do that, even uh, in the pre-lunch session, allowing the batter to just flick it away for a single to open things up after lunch. Oh, he went down the ground with that. That came out of nowhere. Just to shimmy down the wicket and off it went. Longer part of the ground. We know where it went. <laughs> Even though we don't know where it came from, right? <laughs> but this is good batting. Now and again, you've got to surprise the bowler. Good hit. He's looked good, I told you. Let's enjoy. on holding its line the arm ball the batter backing away could not face bat on ball and a big wicket here for Sri Lanka they were needing that Prabhatjai Surya into the game quicker than the rest he tries to cut one off the stumps look at the seam it's the belly that hits the wicket if it was the seam it would have turned it pitches in line with the stumps gotten cleaned up 24, 37 for one. Yeah! Oh, not quite sure of that. Big appeal. They think they got a bit of bat before it uh, thudded off the pads. Well, as usual, the bowler, extremely excited. But that'll... Warishanto. As it turned and bounced. It's a line he has to play. Yeah, two noises. From the pad onto that chest pad. Oh, he swung that around, forward of square. That's a very confident looking shot. Bit of a teaser. But the ball's going to come and cross the boundary line before the chase from the fielder. That leaves some nerves. Good looking shot from Chant. Yeah, the short one, it sits up slightly outside off stump and hence controls it so, so well. He's hit it to mid horn. Plenty of time, Shanto. Hopefully, he'll feel good about himself. Oh, chopped that away. Very nicely. Terrific shot. The quick hand movement, hand-eye coordination. And off it went, like a rocket. 50 on the board for Bangladesh. That's his area. You give him weight. He'll hit you. He hits it so hard. Aerial, but Madushka, no chance in the gully. Didn't worry too much about keeping it down. Plays it away. Yeah, when he... Oh, just guides it and guides it straight to the slip fielder. That's another one down. He's got Zake once again. He sticks in the corridor. He keeps pegging away and a lovely catch. It carries. The captain made sure that he got underneath it. The seam. Zakir Hassan, he'll be thinking of what happened in that first innings and hence, he's always playing at it. This one a little closer, gets the nick, the second wicket down. 19 to Hassan, 51 for two. Triple. They play an unnecessary shot. That's a nice one, though, from uh, Mominul Haq. Swept away and picks up a boundary. It's all about creating pressure, and that's exactly what uh, Sri Lanka has done. He's only facing his second delivery, but it's uh, it's he's in control. That's the reason uh, it's gone past uh, that feeder. Brilliant! Oh, the, we saw earlier on. Uh, but it's going down the wicket. This time it is a six. 
Lovely shot uh, from Mumin Ulhaq. One sweep down the square leg and then finishes the over, hitting a six over long on. That's one of the things that Barrett tends to do to unsettle the bowlers. He spoke about his good length, so he uses his feet this time around and connects well. Inside edge, that could have easily gone on to hit the stumps, but he'll uh, still take it. Was Fuller from Vishwa Fernando, drawing the batter and inches away. Could have uh, just played it on. Thankfully for Bangladesh, Mominul survives as it reaches the boundary. Fine. Second boundary of this over. Comes down the wicket. Goes downtown. Four runs. They're taking the attack to the spinners. They're staying positive, which is fine. But both occasions, one was uh, from Mumin Alak, and this time it's Nazmul Dus and Shanto who's gone down the wicket. So if you hit it from the middle part of the bat and you connect, then it's absolutely fine. Nothing wrong in that. Good use of the feet. So he picks the right one to go. You don't want to go down the wicket. Cut away. Finds the gap. Will find the boundary too. Third boundary from Mominul's bat. Yeah, you're a little bit too wide. And he once again uh, reaches out for it. Uh, gets uh, the bottom part of the bat. It's the toe end of the bat. It uh, goes through the slip and the gully fielder. I still feel it's a little bit too wide to play that kind of a shot. Yes, he's picked up a boundary, fine. Oh, didn't know very much about that. Very, very lucky. Oh, uh, dear. Could have gone anywhere. It's been twice that the inside edge has gone for the boundary. The first one of Vishwa Fernando, and this time it's a bowling of Lairu Kumar. Not far away. When the luck is in your side, it's definitely in your side. Living a charm life out there. Oh, hurried on to that one. And uh, he is struck again. Wow, what a delivery that is. Another strike. Jaffa. Oh. That was a great delivery. Pitched, probably middle stump, mm. and enough away movement, and possibly Shanto playing down the line, thinking it's going to be the middle stump, and just moved enough, dismissing the Bangladesh captain for 20. Nice looking stroke. Now you pitch it up, you're asking for trouble. Lovely shot. Uh, he's very strong on the offside, but he's quite keen to go on to the onside and, and going down the grounds. Lovely to watch whenever a batter, either left hand or right hand, play those shots in the V. Brings up the 100 with that boundary. A couple of short ones, he was trying to push him back. In goes full, Mominul Haq up to the task. Really, when you bowl fast and the batter gets a bit of timing right. Jalal Yunus and one of the selectors. I think it was Hanan Sarkar. Pulled away. He's batting well. He's batting very positively. And he's not missed out on opportunities whenever there is one to pick up a boundary. Yep, when it's there, you get your runs because there are long periods where you're scratching around and you have to absorb pressure. It's a moment as a breather. Yeah, get on. Again, he, he, he's picked up uh, Dhananjaya De Silva the second time around and onto the leg side. This is much finer. So, yeah, another boundary for him. He races to 41. Heavy scoring areas. Oh, cut it. It was so close to the keeper. He knows it too. Could have easily gone into the hands, but it's not. It's gone to the boundary. I mentioned six fielders on the leg side, so if you're having six, you've got to take them from the off. Hence, no slips. He's so, so lucky. Not even where he intended it, but the moment it passes the keeper, of course, you're happy.
He gets four. He followed him. Uncomfortable, all right, but it works for Shakib. It's not taking a back step here, Shakib Alassan. He's taking on the bowlers. And when you decide to go, and then. 18.50 for Momin Alak. Once again, uh, playing a responsible innings. Round of applause from his teammates. Well, he still have a job on his hand. It has been a good one. In good touch. Shouts of catch at this might be gone. It is. He took the bat. The first ball from Prabhat Jayasurya. He went for the sweep. And he got the top edge. That's exactly what they were hoping for. But it came from the spinner. And Momin al -Haq departs. Yeah, we just said he was looking good. There's bounce. There's a bit of rough. We saw Shakib get it when he bowled. And Jaya Surya. Lankans are hoping for and they get another one. Momin al has gone for 50. What a beauty to finish the over. Absolutely beautiful over. Also picks up the wicket and it is T. Uh, one, three, two, four, four. With Shakib Alassan unbeaten on 14 and uh, Little Kumadash yet to get off the mark. Rotating his fast bowlers from the one end and spin from the other. Not take things for granted and make those into big scores. Yeah, Shalakan bowlers are very good. One for 21 and Lahiru Kumara among the wickets. Bangladesh, Sri Lanka looking for another six wickets to wrap up the series. It's stay here on the fourth day. Back in a short while. Hello and welcome to Chattogram, Zohra Chaudhary Stadium. Four day last session of the Das Bangla Bank series between Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. Bangladesh, they need 379 more to win. But they're back on the field with a smile on their face, on their faces. Shakib and Liton Dash make their way in. Again, they've made the they angled in. Nicely played away, but they have that fielder at mid wicket at uh, mid on also. Right. Nicely picked up. The ball races away for four runs. First one from the bat of Liton. That was a pie ball that Liton easily put away. Massive gap between square leg and mid on. He just had to place it properly. And he did it very well. It's interesting to see the approach of Liton Kumar. How it's going to be. Mid off, mid on. Trying to say the single invitation is there if he wants to dance down the track and go over the top. Again, full toss. Again, he takes the invitation. Fielder chasing it. Well, desperate effort. A yeah, valiant attempt by Wisha Fernando. Don't think that's a right call as a fast bowler. So much runs to be played. Wisha Fernando. Love the commitment. There's no question about it. But sometimes, if I remember right. And the second test match at the Peace Sarah was the most memorable. I'll tell you why. For that, that's beautifully played. In control. Found that gap between second slip and gully. Good delivery. But I thought Litton Kumar Das had everything under control. Middle of the bat, it wasn't at the edge at all. Perfectly placed. And in that, in that test match, Sri Lanka had to chase down more than three. Again, he's played it late, but uh, far better in control. Opening the face of the bat slightly, Liton. Inside out, cracking stroke, piercing cover. Liton Dash gets four. Uh, too many loose deliveries after T by Prabhat Jayasurya. It was coupled down the leg side, full toss, and this one was too full. That's exactly what Kusal Mendes behind the stumps letting uh, Prabhat Jayasurya know. Way too full. Shot. That's a top shot. They just waited, let the ball come onto the bat. It's a gentle push towards mid on. And it goes, races over to the boundary. 
Only his second boundary. You don't need boundaries. You keep knocking it around till you get one like that. Nice position. He's searching for a bit of reverse now. We didn't see that with the Sri Lankan ball. Again, a good-looking shot. Square of the wicket in the offset. Again, it'll be a boundary. So he forces the bowler to bowl a little bit wide. And he latches on to it. Lovely shot. Square of the wicket, this time from uh, Shakib al Hassan. Not a half volley on the top of the bounds. Doesn't move. Gets it exactly where he wants. Short ball. Uh, falls in no man's land. He caught it. Caught him in surprise. The, the bounce really surprised Shakib al Hassan. No signal, so that means there is glove on that. The Sri Lankans are excited. And rightly so. Uh, down the leg side, and it beats uh, the keeper. Four buys. <laughs> Outside edge and taken. Coming the Mendes does the job. Nishan Madhushka has been brilliant at forward short leg, and this time it's in the second slip. It went quick, and that was a magnificent catch. And Shakib al Hassan was fighting hard in the end, perishes. Very annoyed with himself. We heard, we saw the turn that he can get and look at this once again. He just followed the ball turning away from him. Tried to guide it, but what a catch. Oh, reflex action was absolutely top class from Madushka. He was elated. Has to go back for 36. 193 for 5. Oh, no. No, didn't want to do that at all. Quite unnecessary. He just went for a pull shot. It was always going to go away from him. The hard yards put in by Lairu Kumar all throughout this series is getting his rewards even more. This time it's Liton Kumar does way outside the Ostam, bottom of the bat, and a good catch diving forward by Kusal Mendes. The gas man is back. Brilliant. He has to go. 38. He's got. Good looking stroke. Bit of flair on that one. Four runs of Deepu. Yeah, solid shot. From Shahada Hussain. And really good on the up. Not an half volley. Good balance. Good stride in. And out of the five. Three but drawn. Put away. This time uh, from Medias and Mirage. The key to the stroke was how quickly he shifted onto the back foot. Transfer of weight pulls it away, away from the fielder. That's a short delivery, a long hop. Could have been hit it anywhere he wanted to. There's no deep wicket. This time, Mirage gets hold of it. Most importantly, tries to keep it along the ground. Well directed, four runs. Yeah, the difference was he, he he waited for the delivery to come close to him and then played it. He goes back and across and pulls it away. I thought the Shadows and Dupu tried to play it a little bit uh, quicker. In the end, it's a good shot. Now oh, this one's pulled nicely, he's connected that properly in front of that fielder but runs away towards the boundary for four. Well, I see the Fernando wouldn't mind that at all. He knows now that both the batters are quite willing to uh, go and uh, try to play a short pitch delivery but some aggressive looking shot. Well in control, gets on top of it and then finds the fielder. There is a deep square leg and a deep fine leg. Bisects those two fielders. For a boundary, Medis and Miraj. Got all of it. He's got all of it. Few bounces to the boundary. Four runs of the bat of Medias and Miraj. 
Yeah, he's decided that anything short is going to take the bowler on because there's no deep mid-wicket. There is deep square leg. It is, again, a short delivery. Deep in his crease, and it thumps it away on the onside. So another boundary added. Uh, Rides that nicely. Well controlled. And it finds the boundary. Yeah, up on his toes. There was a deep point in place and placed it very nicely. Yeah. Taijul Islam. Yeah. Hassan Mahmood and Khalid Ahmad are the batters to come. Ah! Well, he's done well now. Appeal and the finger goes up. That seemed to be turning quite a lot. Are they going to take a review? There you are. They have taken it. Yep, all three available. Ritual decision is out. I've checked both feet. They feel let's go to front time when ready. Uh, Pierce Rod. Pitching outside off. Impacts in line. Wicket's hitting. To get you back on screen, you can stay with your original decision of outs. You're on screen. And the part-timer strikes again. Come into Mendes. Gets his second. He shouldn't have been taken out of the attack. He got Shakib al Hassan, And then Jayasuri was brought back. Comes back on, gets Shahadat Hussain, who's gone for 15. 243 for 7. In time. He's a pro at this time. He's been a thorn because he's been very hard to dislodge. He's off the mark. Sometimes you wonder, looking at Taijul's batting as a night watchman, now that he's an enforced introduction into the middle, despite that positivity, positivity that he's shown with the opportunities when they're given to him to take advantage. And also, oh, he's got all of that right down the line. And off the goes. That is Tajul for you. 250. Comes up for Bangladesh. He's not a night watchman today. He's coming at a different role. And he's on a mission. Two boundaries. Tossed up. Gets it right off the middle. Good to see. It's so refreshing to see. It's been a struggle by the regular batters to get it right in the middle of the bat more often than not. Pulls around, forward, chase to no avail. Gee, he hit that hard. That up nicely and he's had a crack. He's on to 35, almost going at a runner ball, maybe Hassan Mizaj. Five boundaries in that. Yeah, you're right. That takes him to 3,000 international runs. International runs would mean across all formats. Nigel, it is. He'll be up to about 160, 165 now. So that. Oh, he's not going to die wandering. Oh, lucky there. This went for that half full half hook just over the slip scoring. He got a hand to it, Dananjay. Couldn't hang on. He had a lot to do. They're standing wideish. That's the second batter who's done that, bottom edged it. Off Lahiru Kumara. Kusal Mendes picked one up and this is the second one. Goalkeeper style from Dananjay De Silva. Litton Das was dismissed the same way, the short one, bottom edge to the keeper. Yeah, almost got a hand to it. Great effort, great effort. The last 15 minutes of the day, you see the skipper giving his all. Trying. That struck well. And well enough. And timed enough. Placed well enough to go to the boundary. 265 for seven. Short enough for Tajul to play it safely. And that is uh, the completion of the over. That is the completion of the fourth day's play here at the Zohar Ahmad Chaudhary Cricket Stadium. Bangladesh have survived the day. They've moved on to 200 and 68 for the loss of seven wickets. Mehdi Hassan Miraj and Tajul Islam coming back
a little relaxed, a little, little more relieved. Hard for the opposition to draw themselves back in. Well, starts all round. Everyone into double figures. Yeah, I suppose there's a slight solace in the fact that when the fight was there, but Shakib's departure really did not allow that to be maintained for Prabhat Jayasuriya and a couple of wickets for Lahiru Kumara. Tajil not out on 10. That's how it stands at the moment. Bangladesh have got 268. For more updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Download T Sports app to enjoy exciting games and highlights. Visit tsports.com.